everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back to the Nine Patch Along 4.0. You have made it. This is actually the final lesson in this Nine Patch Along. I hope you've all had just as much fun as I have machine quilting these blocks, the bonus blocks, the background filler, that outside border, and also the sashing. We have done a lot of designs using my brand new Sway machine quilting rulers. I hope you're feeling just as excited about these new rulers as I am. If you've not yet checked out my new class, Border Builder Bootcamp, it's also another great place to expand your machine quilting library, kind of little arsenal of designs using the Sway machine quilting rulers. That class, the Border Builder Bootcamp, focuses exclusively on the Sway machine quilting rulers. So another great place for a lot of inspiration. In today's video, we are going to be keeping it again a little bit more on the simplistic side, but really bringing a fun design to life. Today we will be focusing on using my brand new Sway 3 machine quilting ruler. Now don't forget the threads that I'm using throughout this quilt are so fine, color number 462 on my top. On my bobbin, I am using the new Super Bob Prewound Bobbins. The batting that I'm using here is one layer of the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe batting. Throughout the whole stitch along, I have been quilting here on my Gamel 22 inch machine, stitching in the stitch regulated mode with my stitch length set at 13 stitches per inch. Let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching block number nine. Of course, block number nine will start out with a bit of marking. I'm going to use the straight side of my Sway 4 machine quilting ruler. I'll line that ruler up point to point and I'm going to mark X's through each of the blocks in my nine patch quilt block. Now, most of the designs that I have shared here throughout the nine patch along can be adapted and used on single blocks or across a whole patchwork quilt. I hope you take the concepts that I've shared here in the Nine Patch Along 4.0 and use these designs on real quilts. Don't forget to share your progress and your work in our Peace and Quilt Show and Tell Facebook group. We love sharing. Next, I am going to do just a bit more marking. Here I'm actually using a straight ruler designed by the Quilted Pineapple. Really, you could use any ruler for these markings. I am measuring one inch from my corner and marking that increment along each side of each of these X's.
Once I have all of my markings complete, now I'm ready to begin quilting. On this block, I'm going to have a lot of fun bringing a simplistic melon design to life. Starting in my first corner, I'm going to use the curved side of the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler to quilt a point to point curve. So I'll hold my Sway 3 machine quilting ruler a quarter of an inch away from where I want my thread to intersect, stitch that first curve. Now I'll use the concave side of my Sway 3 machine quilting ruler to stitch right back to where I started. Now I'm going to repeat that process a whole bunch of times. So I'll travel along my ditch to the center of that next X. At that point, then I'm going to repeat that process and stitch one petal at a time, working back and forth between that circular end on the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler and the concave side on the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler. Now here I'm stitching it out on this block. This is a design that you could use a combination of all of the Sway machine quilting rulers and add more to this, or you could use, let's say, the Sway 5 machine quilting ruler, stitch out this same design just on a larger scale. I hope you can really take those concepts and that inspiration and really let the sky be the limit with the Sway machine quilting rulers. Now you know that I love the look of Stitch in the Ditch, so I'm using my Stitch in the Ditch as my travel stitches. I always like to make my stitching as continuous as possible, so here the ditch just happens to be the perfect partner. Once I have that first row complete, now I'll travel up my ditch to my second row. This time I'm going to start to have blocks that have four of those petals. So I'll just quilt four of the petals, again using the curved side and the concave side on the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler. Once I have the second row complete, now I'll travel up to my third row and repeat the same process, working back and forth with the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler.
Now, once my third row is complete, I'll travel up to the final row, the fourth row, and I'll complete those point-to-point -point curves. Of course, to finish off this design, I have to finish up the stitch in the ditch work. So now I'll complete this block by stitching those vertical lines through my ditches. I have loved this Nine Patch Along 4.0. I hope you have all found just as much inspiration as I. If you have not joined in our previous stitch alongs, including the original Nine Patch Along, the Nine Patch Along 2.0, and the Nine Patch Along 3.0, you can now enroll and pick up their companion design workbooks on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody.